Hi, I'm Dr. Cameron, the story doctor. I'm a real doctor, but I'm not a medical doctor. I create stories, I love creating stories, and I get to share my love of stories with kids all around Australia each year, running workshops and helping them with their own creative. Hang on a sec, I think that might be a patient. Oh, hi there, Olivia. How can I help? Hi, story doctor. I'm having trouble with my story. What seems to be the problem? It doesn't sound right. I think it might need a story transplant. A story transplant? That sounds really serious. Maybe you could read a bit of your story to me, Olivia. We'll see what's wrong. Sure. One dark and stormy night, there was a huge, fierce, fire-breathing pony and she lived happily ever after the end. Wow. The story starts off really well, Olivia. I love the fire-breathing pony and I really love the picture. Fire-breathing ponies. Move over, unicorns. The problem is, in the middle of your story, Olivia, nothing really happens. I think we need something exciting, a complication, maybe take your fire-breathing pony to a really cool location. Oh, you mean like a theme park for fire-breathing ponies? A theme park for fire-breathing ponies? That's wonderful, Olivia. I think we've sorted your problem. Thank you, Story Doctor. Have a good day. As I was saying before, I get to visit... Hang on a sec. I think that might be another patient. Let's see who it is. Hi, Story Doctor. Hi, Hewan. How can I help today? It's my picture. It looks hideous. Mm. Let's not get all panicky and jump to conclusions, Hewan. I'm sure it's nothing a good eraser can't fix. Why don't we go to my magical easel and take a look? Here is my not so magical easel. What do we have here, Hyun? See, look, it's terrible. I tried to about the mistakes, but I used felt pen and but. It's okay, Hyun. There's always a way to fix up a picture like this. The main thing is that you didn't scrunch it up and throw it in the bin. Well, what can I do, Story Doctor? It's pretty messed up. Well, Hyun, with the help of my trusty pen here, I'm going to turn your portrait into a pirate. Not everything turns out really well, Hewan. It's a good lesson for you though. Always use a pencil and an eraser, and if things don't turn out alright, well, just keep trying. It does a bit look like a pirate though. Maybe give him a bit of a goatee at the bottom here, and a moustache. That yeah, looks pretty good. What do you think? Thanks, Story Doctor. It looks just like my dad. That's really good. That's my pleasure, Hewan. Maybe you can use it as a birthday present for your dad. Yeah, here you go. Thank you. As I was saying, I really love my role in this thing. Another patient, excuse me a moment. Story Doctor, what am I glad I found you? I have a major dilemma involving the continuity of a hero's backstory from page 87 to 123 as it relates to the antagonist's personal struggle to come to grips with a childhood incident involving a lost, spotted hyena cut. Uh, well, I think I'm going to need a bit of time to come to grips with this one, Lyndon. Why don't I take your manuscript to my special Story Doctor laboratory while you make yourself comfortable on my really cool, snazzy Story Doctor chair. There you go. Hi, I'm not the Story Doctor, but I love Dr. Cameron's books. Here are some book reviews to entertain you while you wait. I like the candy catastrophe because it is funny and mischief keeps getting detentions. I like the Struggle's new home because it's funny. I like the Island of Destiny because of all the action, mystery and the twist at the end. I like the Candy Catastrophe because it is funny and has lots of funny humour. When I was reading The Golden Anchor, I was so disappointed when my mum said I had to go to bed because I had, I had to stop the book right in the exciting part. I like the candy catastrophe because I can read it myself and I like how the characters are made. I like the king's key because it has a cane's title and I start with K. Hey, you go in space. Thanks, Landon. Alright, so eventually I got through your manuscript. It took a while. 
Good story by the way, I've made a few notes in the margin relating to that problem that you had. Hopefully it all helps. Here you go. Thanks Story Doctor, I'll get editing right away. Fantastic. Sorry about all the interruptions, as you can see Life as a Story Doctor is really busy. As I was about to tell you, oh, sorry I'm, I'm getting the wrap up, it looks like we're out of time. Hopefully I get to see you at your school soon. And remember, keep making stories.